Hello, nice to meet you. I'm Sandy. I was formerly known as Cheeks XO3 on here. In this PowerPoint presentation on this lovely day, I am confirming that I changed my YouTube name to Sandaisy. Check out my previous video. I explained why I did it and all of that. Now let's carry on to the main topic of this video. I am testing out some no glue slime recipes and I will be redoing some from this video that I made three years ago. I actually said that I would test out some more and you guys commented a lot of recipes over time and I just never made the video. I don't know why. I got no excuses. So here is this video three years later. <laughs> For the first recipe, I'm going to redo one of the ones in that video. So the recipe is add dish soap to a bowl and then add pinches of cream of tartar, mix it, and then put it in the fridge for 45 minutes. That failed for me. So Diversity AJ said that I needed to spread the cream of tartar everywhere and I need to leave it, do not mix it, and then put it in the fridge for an hour. It got 790 three likes which is a lot so i assume that if i follow this it would work i still have my doubts but it doesn't hurt to try step one get a bowl check i'm not sure if the brand of dish soap matters i'm gonna be using the same one as i did in that video pour the dish soap into the bowl amount is not specified so i'm just gonna add whatever and then add the cream of tartar so this time i make sure that i spread it everywhere and off it goes in the fridge for an hour after an hour a lot of the cream of tartar sunk to the bottom and it doesn't work I didn't want to give up yet, so I thought maybe it needs more of the cream of tartar. So I added more, and then I put it back in the fridge for another hour. And it doesn't work. So this is a fail. I mean, I kind of expected it because like, how can you make slime out of dish soap? Next recipe is actually a joke by it's me, Larky, exclamation point. I decided to take it seriously and try this because that's smart. I didn't want to chew gum because to be honest, I don't really want to touch my spit. So I actually found another comment that had a recipe for it by Angelic Mia. This person said to just soak it in water for about 10 minutes and if it's still lumpy, let it stay for another 5 minutes. I'm going to use the classic extra peppermint gum. One pack contains 15 sticks and I'm going to use all 15 of them. Go big or go home, I'm going big. So I just unwrapped all of them into a bowl and then add some water, just enough to fill over it. I actually let it sit longer for 30 minutes because I was also filming the other recipes for this video. After about 30 minutes, the gums are definitely softer. I thought it'd be softer than it was. I wasn't sure what to expect with this. I squished it and stretched it for a few minutes and it ended up turning into very much like a slime. It reminded me of a slime with crushed up foam. I'm just so happy that this works because wow, it actually works and it's so simple to do. It doesn't make any poking sounds but it stretches nicely.
I wanted to see what would happen if I let it sit for a few minutes. So I let it sit for five minutes and the texture actually ended up being better. Like it's more cohesive and you can just tell the difference. So if you do this, I suggest letting it sit for five minutes. Next recipe is one that I've heard of, but I've never done it. Maddie Quinlan says, add one cup of Metamucil fiber powder, then add one cup of water, mix, put it in the microwave for 45 seconds, mix, and you should have slime. Maddie has reassured that this 100% works, and I believe you. I thought this was an easy recipe to do, but turns out, I was wrong. I definitely struggled and you will see that later. If you guys ever try this recipe and you're buying the powder, get the one with the orange slices on the picture because it actually smells like oranges, surprisingly. I thought it would smell worse and not intentional too, I just picked whatever. Following the recipe, adding one cup of this powder and then adding one cup of water. And then I saw that the color just doesn't really look too good, so I added some blue food coloring. Not a good Good idea don't recommend adding blue because it turned it into this green poopy color and it also looks like green poop like it actually looks like the poop that comes out of your body that you see in the toilet it got really thick and mushy as I was mixing it and I thought at this point what is the microwave going to do because it's already looking like this but I'm going to follow the recipe to the T after microwaving it for 45 seconds, it just got soggy and nothing changed. I just saw no hope for this batch, so I decided to start a new one. And this time, I'm going to use way less powder because I think one cup was way too much. So I added one tablespoon of that and then added a cup of water. In the microwave, I did one minute intervals and I stirred in between. I think I did that about three to five times. It is really hot to touch, so make sure you use oven mitts. You know that it's done when the texture is like this. It's like a really watery, jiggly texture. I let mine cool off in the fridge for about 20 minutes to speed up the process. And this is the slime. This really reminded me of guar gum slime. You can do the same thing with the guar gum powder. It creates a watery, jiggly texture and you can't really poke it, but you can stretch it and that's really about it. Lastly, I'm going to test out a recipe that I've already done and that is combining acetone and styrofoam together and supposedly that makes slime. When I tested this out three years ago, I failed because my nail polish remover did not have 100% acetone. Like Jewel said, it needs to be 100% pure acetone. I even replied that I would test this out again and I'm three years late. <laughs> Oops. These. This time I made sure that my nail polish remover had 100% acetone. If you do decide to try this recipe, big warning, this is highly flammable and it can cause some side effects like making you nauseous and dizzy. If you get it on your skin, it can irritate that. And make sure you do this in a well-ventilated area. Matter of fact, just go outside. Don't even do it at home like me. I had my windows open. This thing smells so strong and over overwhelming, which is more of a reason to do this outside. Wear gloves, use only glass bowls, wear a mask, just be safe, please. This thing is no joke, like if you swallow it, you could die. I will be using some pink packing peanuts for this. Now enjoy the magic. As soon as I pour the acetone into the packing peanuts, 
it immediately dissolves in seconds. I was truly fascinated by this. It only took a little bit of acetone for it to dissolve so quickly. This is the so-called slime that it forms. Even though I had gloves on, I was still scared to touch this after witnessing how crazy it dissolves. No thank you, I'm not risking anything. I'm just saying, okay? So this blob that it forms, mine was really sticky. If you try this recipe, let me know if yours was sticky. It's definitely not holdable, it's more for poking, I would say. But nonetheless, this was a really cool experiment. And that is it to this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!